to my videos. So guys, uh, today in this video, I'm going to describe uh, the situation or you can say story of uh, a friend of mine who uh, had his car stolen and finally he got it back. So let me tell you what had happened in this case. Uh, like car stealing is a big problem here in Canada, especially in Ontario. It's huge. People are really struggling with this. So his car was not stolen from uh, his home. It was from his office. So he his office is somewhere in Mississauga Square one near to that area. So he was there and while his car was parked in the parking lot, it was a very good and expensive car, Nexus car. So what happened like on one unfaithful day, he went to the office. He was there. Evening when he came out, he found his car was not there. He panicked what to do. He had a tracker. But the good thing that he did, like he had tracker and third party monitoring because if this was adv advised to him by his insurance company to install a tracker because his model was not top, but uh, a very popular uh, brand that was being stolen here. So he had an air tag installed in the car. So with that air tag, he could see that where his car was. So he called the police, he called his insurance company. And uh, because he called his insurance company, they could also track where the car was. So the insurance company called the police and uh, it was actually a rental apartment in whose basement this car was parked at. So he also went to the building, but he did not enter the basement because he thought that who knows those guys could be armed. He might get shot. Anything may happen, right? Nobody wants to take that risk for something uh, without life. So he instead waited for police. After police received a call from the insurance company, they arrived, they uh, picked the card. By that time, my friend had left the place because he did not want to witness any confrontation if any that happens. So uh, the, the car was taken to the police station from there to their yard. And uh, from uh, yard, it was there in the yard for a few days before the paperwork and other things were processed. And from there, it was taken to a garage where the repair was done and finally it was returned to him. Now, some of you might be interested to know that how exactly this car was stolen. It was not stolen used uh, by copying the key signals. Like every car, okay, has uh, some manufacturing mechanism, right? circuits and other things. So somebody who stole it, they knew that where to break open the car, where they can get some circuits uh, that they can connect to the computer and copy uh, the FOB information. And that's what they did. Uh, like they break open at a place, then connected few wires, copied the FOB information, and then they managed to get into the car and drove away. So this is really scary, but it has happened. So wanted to share it with you this guys. Of course, I cannot reveal further details. Anything that is going to identify them personally. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.